Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this coil effect render in Cinema 4D. So this is a pretty old like render style, if I recall, I remember doing this say, like like three years ago or something. But I've noticed a lot of people doing it recently, and by a lot of me people I mean I saw like three on Twitter the past like two months or something. But I thought I would show you guys uh, how I do it and the easiest way to go about doing this, in case you don't know. So uh, let's get started. By the way, the materials I'm using are from my V5 pack. The gray, the gray ones are from my V5 pack, and the glow ones are from my V4 pack. Uh, link is in the description if you want to buy those, or you can just use whatever materials. But I'm going to go ahead and hide everything. And let's get started. So I'm going to bring in a logo. Uh, obviously, you guys can use um, any text or logo you want. I'm going to be using, where is that logo at that I was using? Opaque Edited. This is like a team from a few years ago. And I'm going to bring that in. Center it, decrease the size. Oh, also I'm using my uh, Lightroom, which if you want to buy again, it's in my store, but you don't have to use it. You can use your own Lightroom. But we're going to go ahead and grab an extrude, add that path to the extrude, and we're going to make this about 75. We want to go to caps, fill it cap, fill it cap. Go either two or three. I think I did three, but I'm going to try two. And I'm actually going to expand bring the logo a little bigger so boom that's basically all you have to do with that I'm gonna add some textures to this so I'm gonna add this fruit fruititious texture to the main part make it cubic seamless because I just love doing that and that material is obviously from my v5 pack like I said we're gonna duplicate it bring it behind go back to our camera and I'm going to add this metal texture. Um, I don't know what this is actually called. What is it? Metal striped from my V5 pack. And we're going to select both of these and give it a bit of a rotation. Then I'm going to select the back one, kind of move it to the side, bring it back. Actually, yeah. And then we're going to rotate it oops rotate it slightly a different way like maybe something like this and you can duplicate that a few more times if you wanted to I'm just gonna keep it simple and do it like that I think that's a pretty cool effect uh, adding some depth and things so it's not just a boring logo and then we're actually also gonna duplicate the original one again we're gonna get out of our camera and move it back all the way to the back this time and this is where I'm gonna add the other material which is called meek and I'm gonna to go to the effectors and grab a explosion FX add it below the um, spline let's go ahead to the explosion tab decrease the strength a little bit actually we'll keep it at a thousand or whatever somewhere there let's expand this outer blue one Expand the green one a little bit, and then expand the red one. So you can see we start getting these particles, and you can kind of mess with the rings until you get something you like. So I'm going to stick with something like that. So that's a pretty cool render in itself, but now we want to get to the actual coil part. So um, I'm going to just bring those down. Let's actually switch our window to the front view, and make sure you know where your camera is if you have a camera in your Lightroom obviously mine does and let's go ahead to the pen tool click somewhere on your logo that would be hidden so if the spline was behind the logo you wouldn't be able to see it so I'm gonna go right there and create a, like a spline like that and you could do like three or four or as many as you want I'm gonna do three because that's what I did before and let's go like right here maybe make this one a little more curvy like that and you notice I'm taking my lines outside of the camera view and let's do one more and this one will be pretty straightforward like that let's switch back to the main view 
I'm gonna get out of my camera and make sure all these splines are behind the logo. So I can see this one is not, I gotta bring that back. Is that one, I think so, and is this one? No, there we go. So they're all behind, and now you wanna get the plugin, which is ReaperX. I'll have a download for that in the description below. Uh, most people have it, I'm pretty sure. And we're gonna add the splines to the ReaperX. I'm gonna select each uh, Reaper X and we're gonna decrease the radius and it, this could be whatever you want I'm gonna try four I'm gonna bring the coils down uh, to about six and then you want to edit each individual one because some of them will be longer than the others and might not look as good so this one I'm actually gonna bring down to five and then where's that bottom one this one's probably gonna have to go to four yeah so I don't like a lot of coils but I like a little bit so this looks pretty cool in my mind I'm actually gonna bring this guy down like so and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my material so I'll do crystal this time I'm just gonna do the cubic seamless thing and boom we got our coils now if I render this out you can see the logo is gonna look a little boring because there's no color in it it's gonna be all gray As you can see, it's all gray, kind of boring. So let's go and spice it up a bit. Let's grab an atom array, duplicate the original the main uh, logo, add it to the atom array, make it like 1.2 sphere radius, and that'll change the cylinder radius, add our material to the atom array, and then go ahead and duplicate that. Get out of your camera, bring it back a little bit, and add some rotation. And you could probably do that a couple times as well. Uh, you could also maybe bring it down or up. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring it, actually, I'm not gonna change it. And let's render that out. And boom, there we go. There's essentially the render uh, so the <laughs> second atom array is kind of far in the back, you can't really see it. We could maybe thicken it up or whatever, add more of them to bring more color to the, to the logo part of this. But essentially that's all you need to do in Photoshop. You can then render this, set it into Photoshop, or that's all you need to do in Cinema 4D. You can now take it to Photoshop and bring more out of it if you'd like. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, drop a like on it. At 100 likes, I'll put this file in the description for you guys to download. Uh, <clears throat> be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and follow me on Twitter at Quezzy. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.